Good day and welcome back to the channel. We're going to be covering the JK BMS today. Okay, I've got a J-Kong BMS, which is quite good. It uh, does a fantastic job. It's a newer version, um, and it has a display, and it comes with an on-off switch. I don't like the way they've put the on-off switch here. I might extend it, because I don't like the way it's just flap flapping around there. I do have this switch here, which I might Got a nice little glow light on it. It might take a little bit of power. Oh no, I don't think it's got a glow light on it. It's just four pole connection. So I could just connect it there with an on off switch on the outside. So I can turn on and off if I need to. I doubt if it'll be off very often. Um, I grabbed a heap of these, which I had hanging around, which I was lucky to have hanging around. So I've got a a bunch of uh, 16 here, that, so they're 6.3 millimeter quarter inch. I don't know whether they might be a little bit too small for these wires. Um, it comes with two sets of wires with it, which most people have seen before. Uh, you've got your most minus, which is B1 and most positive, which is a separate cable. And I'll need to do a bit of cable management on that. Might have to extend them a little bit uh, because of the way I've set up my BMS. It's not as good as other people's at the moment. So, and I will hook one of these up on the output here. And this one will go on the other end. I wish I had bought two of these, which I should have done in the first place. Now, this here will not take the amount of the 200 amp current. So I'm gonna to have to make up some new plate here to replace that, because these are only made up for a caravan, the 12 volts caravan. So I'll build that bigger. So maybe that might take, well, they say they use 100 amp. Um, batteries in them but 200 amps definitely won't go through that or heat it up so I'll do that and the other thing the display goes into the first port here now the G GPS connector is hard to get into then you've got a plus and minus temperature range on your device so you need to put them in near the batteries so it'll switch off the device if it gets too cold. Uh, here in Australia, where I am, I'm down south in Australia, it will only occur, the coldness would probably occur from late April until August, end of August, start of September maybe. So yeah, and it'll only drop down here to about minus five, I think, minus five. I've never seen it hit minus 10 very often here so minus five is pretty much what it gets here it's pretty good temperature summer wise it, it never drops under or it drops the highest it'll go is in the uh 47 i think 47 degrees uh if you're american you'll have to convert that i'm sorry about that i haven't got that figures here now um, i'm just going to go over and show you how i'm going to hook it up okay guys this is our ji kong BMS. We have a display hooked onto it like I showed you before. Um, hopefully you can see that. Uh, one is connected to your GPS connection, communication system, and the other one's display, and it runs down to a reset button or a turn on button. I should change that to a turn on reset button. Five volts, mainly a turn on button. We have our negative uh, B, which is the blue line, which is the two blue lines coming down here to B1. 
B1's first line off, it is its balancer. And the balancer provides two amps of charging. Now the actual battery, if these two batteries are out of alignment, so that was lower than, and that was higher, it would pass through a supercapacitor and trickle charge, or the second battery, which is lower, up higher and reduce B1 down. So B1, B2, bananas and pajamas. I had to say it. <laughs> uh, and so we have all our lines going to our different batteries, all 16 of them. And we've got plates which are tapped in the center, which will have a ring terminal onto them, hooking them up. I've also got in the middle here, I've got a disconnect, just in case I have to disconnect this BMS and put another BMS in if it breaks. So I don't have to un undo all these and cause myself a lot of grief. I have over here, I have a circuit breaker. From the P minus, the line goes down to the 200 amp circuit breaker and then passes through the circuit breaker on the negative side. So this is your negative, your, your um, I'll throw that away. Uh, that's your negative side, and that's your positive side of the Grow Watt inverter, which is an, I think it's an SPC 5000. Are you guessing that one? But something like that. Then that hooks up onto the outside of it with a circuit breaker followed by a disconnect, which is the way I've got it set up, to the solar panels on the roof, which is a bank of five kilowatts. Now also off that, I have a connector here, which connects both lines in, the positive and the negative, to a ground which is grounded into the outside but that is my ground so that if lightning hits will short that device out and take out the lightning before it takes out your inverter that is the theory um, so yeah there are two lines coming to number 16 which is your B16 and also your B plus to tell it to terminate so this thing has got, I think it's got 24 B, B24 if you've got a bigger battery, but in this case we don't require it. Um, software settings for this is, I think, what is it, 3.5, don't quote me on that, I'm going to have to check a couple of figures, but about 3 something. You can set all of it in the actual software of the JI Kong BMS. So that's about it. That's it for um, setting it up. So you've got your serial, serial batteries here and that's my theory because that is how it works. It's not a conjecture, it's a theory or it's actually the way that you put it together. Take your time with it. Don't go 100 miles an hour. You're gonna to have to go slow. So I still need to do some other things to my battery set, set up, but um, starting now to set that up. If you are overseas, you can uh, look up Andreas Scheidler. I think it's Scheidler. Uh, Scheidler. Um, he has a fantastic channel and over in Switzerland where he is, they actually provide a diagram of the solar panels and the battery setup, and you can do it yourself, but and it saves some money, especially when you're over there at the moment. Um, here we're going into winter. We're pretty much still pretty sunny. If you quickly look out the door, very sunny out there, but cool. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's it for me for today. Catch you on the next one.